Hey guys, I'm Game Advisor, and today we're going to be talking about some new world tips that are usually going to be geared towards beginners, but may be helpful for you no matter where you're at in your gameplay. Either way, let's go ahead and get started. First up on our list today is the fact that you should be doing your best to try to clear out your bags of everything that you don't need to bring with you before fast traveling. The way this works is based on what is inside your inventory, you will get a penalty for traveling via fast travel and have to consume more of your Azoth. Just so you know, this isn't the end of the world if you need to transport a few things, but if you're trying to transport your entire bank, you can expect this to cost you quite a bit. Second is a tip about how to level quickly. In order to level quickly in New World, there are obviously many routes you can take. The one I would recommend for you guys is to go ahead and do your side quests and especially do the Town Hall and Faction missions. The Faction missions will give you special rewards that will translate into many different things down the line as factions are a big part of the game. Now as far as the Town Hall aspect goes, you can do missions that are extremely easy and very rewarding when it comes to experience. For an example, you could get something like turn in 20 steel bars or 20 iron bars bars or some fish or some wood or whatever. A lot of them tend to be profession based and they're based off of your profession skill. So the higher your profession skill is, the better rewards you can turn in in order to get the higher amounts of XP and gold in exchange for doing so. This will also increase your standing in that town, so do make sure to try to do this in towns where you know you're going to care about your standing. After that, you need to be checking your armor type, and what we mean by this is not necessarily what kind of stats you have on it, which should be kind of obvious. You're going to want the stats for the weapons you're using, but what we're saying here is you need to look at your armor weight. If you open up your character window in the top left corner, you'll see whether or not you are light, medium, or heavy. If you are light, you get a little bit further roll and an additional 20% damage as well as healing. The medium, I believe, is 10% and the heavy is zero. This also changes your dodge roll and a couple of other minor things, but just know if you are, say, a ranged DPS, you may want to have light armor on in order to kill things faster, whereas if you're playing as a melee who doesn't really dodge much, you might want to be just running that heavy armor. Fourth is that I highly recommend if you are trying to level your gathering skills that you farm the highest tier things within that category in order to get the maximum amount of experience possible. Just to give you an example here, if you're mining a stone rock, you might get something like 70 XP versus mining iron might give you like 170, but if you can mine star metal, silver, or gold, that amount starts to jump dramatically. This also works with skinning, wood cutting, and basically any profession. So the idea is try to look for the highest rarity thing you can that you are capable of actually gathering as you will see dramatic XP increases and save yourself a ton of time. Okay, we're halfway there with number five, which is to look for free resources in your city, such as milk and honey. I know we've talked about this one before in our other videos, but in case you missed them, all this means is that if you are in a major city, usually there's going to be a cow and a little place to get honey. There could be other things depending on where you're at and if you control that zone, but those are the two main ones as milk tends to sell for a good amount and it's also used in many high-end cooking recipes as well as honey just basically being free resources. There's no reason not to do these as it's just free, it takes zero effort and takes about three seconds of your time and you're gonna walk past these things constantly anyways. So I highly recommend you spend the three seconds out of your day to go ahead and get them. Sixth is the fact that you need to be having the best tier gathering tools possible. Of course you want to have the best ones you can get access to, such as iron, steel, or star metal, but aside from that, you want to make sure that you have them with some kind of bonus. These bonuses can be things like a bonus Azoth, extra durability, all sorts of different things. The idea here is that there is no reason not to really do it. It's maybe a few extra gold in order to purchase it, or if you can craft it yourself, it just takes some Azoth. You're gonna be looking for green, blue, or purple ones, depending on what tier you're at. 
With number 7, we have that you guys should occasionally try out respecking when you're early on in the game. You can try out different weapons and try out different skills to see what you actually like and see what might be useful for you in the future, what might be good weapon combos, all sorts of different stuff. The idea here is to play around with it. The reason this is important at early levels is because once your weapon mastery with something reaches level 10, it then starts to cost you in order to change it, as well as when your character level reaches is level 20, your attributes will also cost more to change those. So this is why I highly recommend that you do yourself the favor of going out of the way to at least try any weapon you even might be interested in, even if it's just a little bit early on, because once you have to start paying those fees, it gets pretty expensive very quickly. Alrighty, we're getting close now with number 8, which is the fact that you can see different town sale prices at a trading post without having to travel to each one. The way you do this is when you enter the trading post, you should see a thing in the top right, and you're going to go ahead and select any town you want to be able to see the prices at. There is an option to just select them all, and what this is going to do is allow you to see the prices, however you will not be able to purchase those things. So do yourself the favor of instead of spending that Azoth to travel around the world, simply click this button you'll be able to see how much things cost in other towns if that's something you care about or you're trying to play the market or you just want to get the best price possible. 9 is that you should be doing the respawn trick. What we mean here is if you force yourself to die in some way, such as drowning or getting killed by a mob, you can then die and it doesn't cost that much to repair your gear, at least not early on. So when this happens, you can quickly get back to town or get back to wherever you set your campfire with out having to travel that whole distance. It can save you a ton of effort, so I highly recommend, especially early on, that you guys abuse this, at least why it's still a thing. Okay, finally for number 10 on our list is the bag storage. Now, if you check your inventory right now and you're low level, there's a good chance you probably have the default 200 weight limit. You can increase this by going out of your way to purchase either a bag off the auction house, or if you want, you can create your own and get a buff on it that will give you something like 6% minerals reduced, or you could have maybe 10% weight reduced for meat or a whole bunch of different things. The idea here is that you get a bonus trait and it adds about 100 weight. So what you're going to do is go to your faction guy if you want to make your own. You're then going to go ahead and get that little holding emblem and you're going to use that to craft yourself your bag. Once you have the bag, go ahead and equip it, which you can I believe do at level 15 and boom, you've got an extra 100 pounds of weight. Now just so you know, there is a quest later down the line in the main story where you will get a free bag. However, it is not that good, so I usually recommend you try to just go ahead and purchase one or craft your own with some bonus traits on it. Alrighty, well that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys found some useful tips in here, things that maybe you can use in your gameplay that will help you take things to the next level. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like or comment down below if you have any questions or if maybe you have tips for some new players that we just didn't mention here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Game Advisor. We cannot do this without you guys, so thank you once again, and I'll see you next time.